Oh yes, the new year is here and it's a perfect time to pick out that new book. So I have the best person for that and that's Rona Brindley, the owner of the bookmark at Neptune Beach. Great to be with you. Oh, it's so nice to be back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Did you get some reading done over the break? Because I couldn't get enough. I was reading, uh, I think I'm on like three different books. Oh, that's you a good way to do to it. Oh, good. It's <laughs> worse things to be addicted to, but that's a great thing to be addicted to. But I can't to. get enough and I'm ready for even more books to read here. So oh, good. you've got a great slate as usual. Well, so it's the New Year's and I couldn't resist the possibility of people are making you know resolutions not the ones about <laughs> exercise more the things that we break but things mm -hmm. that we might actually do and you know we'll make our lives better that's like the goal it's to make your life better exactly and so I started with the smitten kitchen because I don't know about most of you but for me mm -hmm. the worst question every day is what are we gonna have for dinner well that's my wife's biggest fear and <laughs> even mine the, the daughter says what's for dinner what's and for it dinner? starts at like early in the morning and it puts a lot of stress it on you but you've got the, it, the you. stress break yes and so okay. the Smitten Kitchen is by an author who lives in New York City in a tiny little kitchen where mm -hmm. she cooks and so everything is easy to make, it's easy to clean up after, easy. and it's foolproof and it's easy to <sighs> shop for. And so it's just wonderful. Even I can cook these things, and that's really saying a lot. Right, so to well, give you some great ideas, wonderful pictures so you know how beautiful it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. and um, give you some new ideas. Somebody needs to invent something new to eat, and she's done it. Perfect. So perfect. It'll solve yes. all our problems. And how about some more relax, some more uh, good thoughts yeah, here? Yeah, why do we meditate? You know, people meditate for lots of different reasons, and some people think it's a little woo-woo and they don't really believe it. But this mm -hmm. is great. This is a combination of a Buddhist monk and a psychologist. So. It's the beauty and the stress relief of meditation and the scientific proof that it really does work. And so you get some ideas and some examples and, mm -hmm. and convince for any level that it really is worth doing. It's not going to get rid of stress, but it'll help us deal with it better. Okay. That's always a very positive, a nice I, optimistic start, an auspicious <laughs> start to the new year. I'm all in. That's <laughs> a good too. one. And all is very similar because uh -huh. that's that sense of what is it that gives you goosebumps? What is it that makes you go, oh, that's mm. just amazing. There's something bigger than us. Something bigger than us. And it can be something little, like seeing a child walk for the first time. For me, it would be a piece of art. It could be outdoors in nature and mm -hmm. so this is really the science of awe and how it does help us feel better we can create more things together we can have a better sense of community and if we experience it all together it even has more impact amen amen to that <laughs> absolutely and then you know there's my favorite you know um, resolution which is read more so I have to bring some good books to read that's my segue into good books to read the magic right. kingdom the title is kind of telling but it's really about a Shaker community that existed in Central Florida called New Bethany in, the, no early, yeah. in the early 1900s. And the land, 7,000 acres, was eventually um, bought up by Disney, the Magic mm -hmm. Kingdom, obviously. But it's really the story about a community that, you know, believed in celibacy, equal rights for men and women, and honesty, and um, a love story and a great betrayal. So a, a great bit of, bit of Florida, a great bit of Florida. The villa is a mystery. And um, this is set in an Italian villa. These new Ooh. two friends go and they're going to take a vacation. But in 1974, there was a horrendous murder and somebody wrote a horror story somewhat akin to Frankenstein. Uh -huh. And so can it happen again? So a, a uh, creepy, chilling one. And another you. creepy, chilling one. Reef wrote, and this one is set in North Florida. Um, about a woman whose husband and children have gone missing, a writer who's trying to solve a murder that's decades old, uh -huh. and a cop surfer who finds a severed hand on the beach. Okay. <laughs> is that right. not creepy it enough is for a you? Creepy there. And she's going to be at the library Wednesday, uh, the Beaches Library, and we're going to so be there selling books. So. Deborah Royce. Deborah okay. Goodrich Royce. And then these are two events coming up. Michael Wiley is a UNF professor, and he writes mysteries on the side, and he's an award winning mystery author. And this is about um, one of his detectives who has to solve a crime about a daughter who's been murdered, and is he going to be next? Ooh, okay. Michael Wiley, do I know him from UNF? I don't know. I I, okay. he's, he teaches creative writing. And this will be in um, hardcover. It's a brand new book, Permission to Offend. And this is a Jacksonville resident. Another and one. I yes, love the local I know. books here. And she had a very hard life and sort of went through some self-abuse to deal with it. And then mm -hmm. finally emerged and said, the, the key is to just be yourself and not let others define who you are. Always a good, a good message while you're meditating and finding your awe um, and eating good food. Exactly. <laughs> while you're reading a good book. <laughs> exactly. And, and a great mix as always. And you've got some big events as well. Yes. These are the two events coming up. Okay. Um, and so we invite you. And we have some more coming this year. It's starting to grow again. So. Okay. Thank you very much, and Happy New Year, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you again, Rona. Riveting recommendations, Oh, as I always. love that. So alliterative. And yes, and of course, you can head to our website for more on these books and more, and that's firstcoastliving.net.